Hello everyone, Jayma Malney here. Welcome to another scrapbook process video. Today I'm documenting these two photos of my daughter and one of them is with her teacher and I'll explain those in just a bit. I'm going to be using this cute Life's a Hoot collection because she is wearing lots of purple. In fact, that is kind of the point of the photos and so I thought that this collection would be perfect. In fact, I've been wanting to scrapbook these photos and I'm really glad that this collection came along it was perfect so I have the scrapbook workshop kit which comes with those papers that you saw that is the paper pack and then there's also these extra papers and the die cut pieces that come in the kit and this kit is always designed to create three pre-designed two-page layouts that close to my heart creates and then they come with little embellishments and there's a guide to follow to create these two or three two-page layouts and it even has the cutting guide and everything. So I was inspired by one of the layouts and I'm sort of scrap lifting it, but putting my own spin on it. I just liked the idea right here of that purple paper being at the bottom and kind of having a torn edge. And so I use that as my inspiration and I'm gonna be adding a lot of layering to this. I love layers of paper or die cuts or embellishments or other pieces that I can layer without making it too dimensional. So I'm going to use these picture my life cards is what I'm thinking. They're like four by six and three by four pocket cards and they are a great way to supplement your paper pack and add more patterns um, and it's a great um, way to kind of tuck layers behind your photos to create that fun layered look. So we're gonna do lots of layering today behind the photos and with our embellishments and even in this little torn piece that we're doing here. So the inspiration layout had a different patterned paper as the background, that striped paper. They called for the striped paper that comes exclusive in the kit. And I used the striped paper that comes in the paper pack and then I created my torn edge down there. I wanted just a little bit more layering though so I'm trying to find another pattern to kind of put behind there. This one would look good but I didn't want to introduce much aqua so I'm going with this more bluish purple. It does introduce some sapphire. It's kind of like a light sapphire but there's purple in it too and so I'm going to lean more toward the purple and blues in this layout. So I just cut up cut off a strip of that to tuck behind this purple piece so that we have a couple of layers there on our base page. And now we're gonna add some layering with those pocket cards. So I pulled out several of the pocket cards. Um, some of them have some pattern, some of them, actually all of them have some pattern. Some of it's more subtle than others. Some of them have more color than, uh, than others like this striped one. I really liked this striped one to bring in a little Little bit more color but I'm just gonna have a little bit peeking out and then whatever is not showing behind the photo I'm gonna trim so we don't waste it but there were some of those patterns with the owls I really didn't see myself using so I'm not gonna bother necessarily trimming those off because not much is usable except for the outside edge but this is a great way to use those cards that you're not gonna use for other things but you want to use that pattern that's around the edge so I'm liking how that's looking now and I'm gonna turn to some of the dye cuts. There were these little half circle die cuts that I wanted to use as like little pennants and I was trying to have a pattern in the middle to bring in a little more color but I just wasn't liking that. It was getting lost on that pattern background so I went for all three solids and I'll just alternate the purples and the blues to bring out more of the purples and the blues like I'm trying to do. And then there were all of these butterfly die cuts. So I'm going to kind of go crazy and then scale back <laughs> but I'm just sort of playing around and laying them all around the uh, the photos I wasn't sure how many um, butterflies I wanted but all I was trying to do at this point was 
I was thinking I wanted to have them going all along the bottom, but then realized that was a bit too much. So I was trying to alternate colors so that I had the darker bluish purple ones spread out from the more purpley ones and spread out from the more turquoisey ones so that they were alternating and balanced. I'm gonna fuss with these butterflies for quite a bit, but like I said, a lot of them are coming out because I realized that there were a lot of other embellishments that I found that I wanted to use. I cut out some of these leaves from the layered flowers die set. One of my all time favorite die sets. I love using these leaves especially because they add a bit of whimsy and movement to the layout. So I'll put those around in my three main embellishment clusters and I'll kind of use those as anchoring spots. Then I pulled in a couple of flowers from the sticker sheet and then I'm gonna end up pulling quite a bit more from the sticker sheet as well. I'm using my anti-static powder bag to take the stick off of the stickers so that I can move them around the layout. And I'm gonna be pulling in a few more stickers here as well. I realized there were a couple of other more blue, purple, turquoise leaves that I could pull in. I was trying to stay away from the pink. I didn't want too much pink in this layout. I'm sticking more with those blues and purples like I mentioned. So I pulled more of those off camera, um, some of the leaves, those gold leaves as well. And then I found this really cool unicorn in my stash. It's from a very old embellishment pack. So I'm gonna take the stick off of him and the colors just are perfect to have right here in the corner of my layout. I found this rainbow in the storybook scrapbooking stamp set and I thought that might look cute up here. So I'm gonna try that. Yeah, that could look cute. And then there was also this rainbow in the same sticker sheet that that unicorn was on, but I decided that was too much yellow. I definitely didn't wanna introduce that much yellow and um, it's not anywhere else. And there's also some pink. Then I thought I would try some other half circles. Those could look cute but just not quite right. I didn't want the yellow showing so much in those either. Thought maybe if I make the, my embellishment cluster over there instead. I was starting to think that it was too heavy on the right side because we've got those banners and we have two embellishment clusters now. So I'm actually gonna shift my photos so that the one on the left is, is lower and I'm gonna move my banners over on the left and that's gonna help to balance the weight of the layout since I do have more embellishments over on the right. I wanna take just a moment to remind you that the Creative Design Team's membership is currently open for new members. So if you're not in our crafty community, we would love to have you. It's so much fun. And we're actually celebrating our one year anniversary this month. And to celebrate, we're having a free event this weekend. I will link the Facebook group down below where all the information is and all the action will be happening. So be sure to check that out. All right, back to our layout. I'm gonna move one of these um, scallops over on the right and switch out that butterfly color to one that pops on those colors a little bit more. So now here I've removed that center embellishment cluster and I think that makes everything a little bit more light and airy. We're getting more balanced. I'm still not totally happy with it, but we're gonna start pulling in some of these flowers. I've mentioned before how flowers are just like the perfect embellishment. If there's something that fits well on with your layout, then flowers are just such an easy embellishment to kind of stick here and there and wherever you need to fill in and that was no exception with these flowers. Leaves are also really good for that as well. So I'm going to continue playing with which butterflies are going where but as I do that I am going to be sticking these flowers and leaves around my embellishment clusters to kind of fill them out and create that layered look that I love. If you love that layered look but you're new to layering then try flowers and leaves it's really hard to go wrong and you want to kind of start with the bigger embellishments and then tuck things here and there underneath on top to kind of fill in those awkward spaces 
there are definitely lots of pieces in this sticker sheet that worked well for that. And then that leaf die that I mentioned earlier and I'm using here, you can also easily tear off the leaves so that you have just a single leaf or a couple leaves. You don't have to use all four at once. So it's a really versatile die set. And I will link that as well as all of the other products that I'm using here down in the description below. What I really like about a lot of these stickers is that they have that gold detail and I'm really going to play that up in the title. Like I mentioned, I found some things in my stash that I wanted to use and some of these little flowers and hearts are from that. I was digging through a lot of older collections and found some really fun purple embellishments and I found this pack that had white with gold detailing and so it really played in nicely with that gold detailing in the stickers. So here are some of the embellishments that come with the Life's a Hoot collection. There are a few pieces that come in the scrapbooking kit and then you can get a whole embellishment pack as well. And here's my title. It says my favorite. And this was absolutely perfect when I found it in my stash, which actually I was even more ecstatic because I was at a crafty retreat this weekend and I happened to bring this collection, this, you know, older um, embellishment pack with me. And it was so perfect because these photos are from when my daughter was in kindergarten and first grade. And in first grade, they had it dress up as your favorite teacher day and she dressed up as her kindergarten teacher. So my title says my favorite, which of course is so perfect for this. And um, the first photo on the left of a, is of her with her kindergarten teacher. And then on the right is her before school dressed as her kindergarten teacher. So her kindergarten teacher, it was her first year teaching and she had purple hair the whole year, which was so fun. The kids absolutely loved it. She was young and had so much energy and it just fit her so much and my daughter absolutely loved her so she wanted to dress as her teacher and so she wore a purple shirt and then we did like spray dye in her hair like that stuff that comes in a spray can oh my gosh it's so stinky so we didn't get too far because I couldn't handle the smell but we put a little bit in her hair so she had a tinge of purple in her hair and she was so excited to be dressed like her favorite teacher so I'm gonna journal about that with these little journal strip stickers which I've shown many times I absolutely love them they will link, be linked down below. And then I'm adding just kindergarten and first grade on the sides of each of these photos just to remind me what grades she was in. And then I forgot to show earlier, I cut out some footage accidentally, but I inked around the edges of all of the butterflies with charcoal ink to kind of make them pop a little bit more. Luckily I caught this one because I actually forgot to do it earlier. And I just put some glue on the center so that the wings can kind of lift up just a little bit to add you know, it's gonna get smashed in my album, but it just adds that little bit of dimension. So let's take a closer look at how this turned out. We've got some gold foil detail. We have lots of layering with various papers. Such a great way to add the look of dimension without much bulk. It just adds a lot of visual interest. I put some of my um, embellishments and my photos up on a few extra layers of cardstock for some added dimension with again without a lot of bulk. I hope this video inspired you in your scrapbooking. If it did, be sure to hit the like button and check out this video that's on screen for another scrapbooking idea. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.